people are so shady and messed up like hey ladies welcome back to another video it's your girl miss emily paints once again <laughs> i wanted to bring you guys in my room so we can chill together eat some hot cheetos while i tell you guys why we're moving because of my crazy landlord yes so we are actually gonna be moving on base yeah, so we're going to be moving on base, and the reason why I make the face is because I kind of didn't want to do that. I heard that there's like a lot of drama that happens there and all this stuff, and I'm like, eh. I, don't, I didn't really want that. Like, I didn't want to live like that, but it's a good offer. We're spending the same here as if we were to be living on base. We have a three-bedroom house. We have this like nice-ass room. This is what I'm going to miss the most, like this room because the light comes in so bright and it feels so nice and i'm like a very like sun person so i like when the sun is out and i just hate that we're gonna like go to a new house and have to get used to it and it's also a three bedroom house but it's two story so it's like it's gonna have stairs and everything and i'm excited mm. i'm excited because i like big houses <laughs> especially they have like a lot of windows I love when they have windows because when the sun shines like that, I think it looks so pretty. But yeah, you guys, so it's another three bedroom house and it looks so nice. I can't wait. I'll give you guys a house tour. Like, it's so nice. It's not, it's kind of like renting a house, living on base, but they take that pay out of like my boyfriend's paycheck. They call it BAH and they take that from you when you live on base and stuff. But what I like is that it's like secure. So you're living like, Anybody that has to go on base has to have like a military ID and if you're a visitor You have to have a visitor pass to go in there So that's kind of what I like about living on base so far that it's safe and it's secure and people drive like a very slow limit in there So that's what I think is cool, too So I like the idea that we're gonna be going on base and right now since I'm not like working at the moment I'm kind of like excited because I'm gonna have more time to focus on my businesses and on my social media and to post for you guys so i'm like super excited to be more consistent and posting two videos a week if not more uh, but it just depends on what you guys like if you guys like my content you know comment below let me know so i can make more videos for you guys but yeah i'm super excited that we're gonna be moving houses now let me tell you guys let me tell you guys why we're leaving so my landlord well i say my because i'm the one that communicates with her but our landlord is just crazy you guys like they will come every month every month or so and they will pass by the house or like make up an excuse to have to like come to the house to look at everything yeah and i'm like mm, that's uncomfortable like they monitor everything by the way it makes you uncomfortable that i'm eating chips too bad <laughs> quick out of this video <laughs> anyways i'm just talking to you guys the way i would be talking to a person you know chilling in my bedroom eating chips drinking soda <laughs> <laughs> this lady she stops by the house like every other month or every month to like kind of look at it and stuff or tell us when there's something outside that we shouldn't have outside and it's ridiculous because like any little thing like oh why are you guys putting the trash can in the front or oh why are you guys not putting the trash can over here and we're just like what the heck like you know like we want to live comfortably where like nobody's like telling us what to do or what not to do right you guys by now you guys probably think i'm problematic because i have so many like stories <laughs> but it's just people are so shady and messed up like it makes no sense i mean i'm not gonna lie i could be shady too sometimes but these things like no like it would bother anyone that their landlord is like showing up all the time to tell them like hey you can't do this hey you can't do that <laughs> you know so we decided that you know what let's get out of here and i confronted her about it too because we had this incident that happened let me tell you guys Okay, so in the garage, we have, like, this window. It's, like, about this big, right? It has, like, little squares. It's very small. It's very small at the top of the garage because there's another room up there. So that little window, one of them, one little square broke because it snowed one time. We did not notice it, you guys, at first. We didn't notice it until one time my dude was like, hey, like, I, I saw that there was glass on the floor. Like, I think a little window broke. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, crap you know it broke but we were always working that we just never had the time to like check right well when we found out we're like oh we'll just tell the lady when she comes over and fixes i don't know what in the garage that they wanted to fix i think the roof or something so we're like okay like let, let's just wait until the lady comes to tell her comment says she's coming she's gonna look at it we might as well show her right 
Well, no, this lady messages me like, man, and I have, I have the receipts. I have the receipts on my phone. <laughs> Let me tell you guys exactly what I told her. By the way, I'm showing off my new phone because ah, my dude bought it for me and I was just so excited because this phone is cool. The camera is cool, you guys. I love it. Anyways, I'm not going to get off topic. So I have the receipts right here and this lady, you guys, she's like mm, rude. Like this is the second, like third, third issue we had with her. But this time, like, she kind of, like, got the anger out of me. <laughs> here's, here's the messages right here. Let me, like, scroll. Oh, and also, you guys, this lady would tell us, like, last minute when they were going to do anything to the house. Like, if they're going to fix the roof, if they're going to come and cut the grass, anything. Like, they will tell us, like, last minute. Like, last minute. <sighs> so, yeah. She told me, she was like, I noticed that the glass is broken in the top window in the garage. And I was like, yes, we meant to tell you that the day it snowed, it must have cracked because we saw all the broken glass in the morning the next day. She's like, as I mentioned before, these things we need to know about immediately. This is important and needs to be fixed right away. And I was like, I understand that, but we aren't home all day. We get home late at night, so we didn't notice. We don't notice much about the outside of the house because it's true. We were all day like we literally got home at five and it starts to get dark by like five so we get home like around six because we're out at five so the lights out like there is no sun we can't see the little window or anything when we noticed that it was during the morning so then she's like you guys are home now so i could have been notified before i got over here i guess because the property is not yours you don't take care or take take care of it per your lease and i was like excuse me like girl girl <laughs> you know like we take care the f out of this house you guys like we clean it so good don't mind my bed that's a mess right now <laughs> but the house like we clean like we keep it clean it's decently clean so when she says that like it triggers me and i remember that day like specifically i was not having a good day at all because of work you guys know if you guys haven't watched my video about how i got fired from that job by the way just Go back a couple videos, you'll see how I got fired. It was ridiculous. But anyways, so yeah, I was having a stressful day that day. And I was like, excuse me. I was like, I don't know what your intent was with your message. But who do you think you are talking to your tenants that way? Like, of course, your tenants are not going to be... I didn't tell her this. But I'm telling you guys, like, of course, your tenants are not going to be so worried about, like, the outside of the house. Because, like, they're renting. Like, you take care of the inside. You clean as much as you can. But you should know as a homeowner, if you're renting your property to somebody, like, things are going to get broken here and there. Things are going to, you know, get messed up somehow. But they can get fixed, you know? So, I told her that and I was like, this makes it uncomfortable to live here. I've never lived in a home where we're constantly being monitored, I told her. Because they had driven past our house and recorded. Recorded the house and then I texted her like, hey, why'd you guys, why were you guys recording? She's like, oh, we were just trying to look at the grass. I was like, no, I saw you recording, you know? So we had other incidents that, let me tell you guys the other one, just so you guys understand why I blew up like this on this lady. Even if it sounded like, it didn't sound like blowing up, it was more professional, but still like, so you guys understand why it angered me so much. So her husband came the other day and we have a dog in the house and we're not supposed to be having a dog. Our little puppy, his name's Peanut. We're not supposed to be having him here, but we weren't too worried because she said that, oh, if we ever get a dog, just to let her know so she can like, so we can pay like $200 or something for the dog to be here. But we didn't think it would be such a big deal because he's tiny, he doesn't even make noise, he's potty trained. So we weren't worried about the puppy, right? Well, this lady sent her... Let me put this hot Cheeto down because I'm not even eating it. <laughs> so this lady sends... She sends her husband. She sends her husband to come look at the fridge because the fridge was leaking, right? And the fridge wasn't ours. It was theirs. It was already in the house when we came here. It was in the lease and everything. So she sends her husband to check the fridge because it was leaking. That's why he even showed up. And without even telling us he was going to show up at a certain time, like, she just says... Oh, my husband's on his way to go check your, your fridge. Like, bruh. <laughs> we could have been at work. I was home that day, but we could have been at work. And they would have, like, they would have came and knocked and nobody would have been here. You get me? So that's what, that's what bothered me, that they never even told us, like, when they were on their way. Or, or uh, sorry, when they were, like, coming in the first place. You get me? So somebody can be home. So luckily that day I was home and I was so pissed because I was doing laundry. And I was in the kitchen. And I had, you know, like, I had my bras out, I had my undies out, I had everything out. So, I'm sorry, you guys, I know the blinds are annoying, but there's nothing I can do right now. <laughs> so, 
I was so annoyed that this guy shows up to the door and she texts me as soon as the guy starts knocking on the door. Yeah, like she, she texted me, oh, my husband's on his way. Like, bro, your husband was already knocking at the door when you told me that. Like, it would have been nice so I can put my clothes away and he doesn't come in looking at my thongs, you know? So I was like, what the heck? Like, anyways, the guy shows up. He's like, oh, I came to look at the fridge, blah, 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 right? I was like, oh, okay, like, come in. And the dog starts barking, you guys, and I was like, shh. You know, like, I was like, the dog's barking. He's like, is that a dog? And I'm like, yeah, like, we're taking care of it. You know, I was like, trying my best to lie. I was like, we're taking care of it. You know, like, my husband's um, um, buddy is, like, moving houses and we're holding the dog for him. It's just for a couple of hours. He's going to come pick him, pick him up in a little bit. And then he's like, well, that, you're breaking your lease. And I was like, no, like, he's not our dog. Like, they're picking him up in, like, an hour or so. He's like, that's still breaking the lease. And I'm like he's not our dog like how's that breaking the lease you know i was still trying to argue my way out of it because of course like as as a as an adult you try your best to save your money and you're not gonna spend like 200 bucks just like that off the bat you know over a dog so that's just what we were we were trying to do save money so um, this guy was like oh no no like that's breaking your lease and blah 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 and i was like well how about this i was like we're gonna get rid of the dog anyways he's not ours like i said he's my husband's buddy's dog so you can come back any day and that dog's not gonna be here like i was risking it all you guys <laughs> so he's like okay i'm gonna take your word for it right so he takes a look at the fridge and the fridge was leaking and we didn't know that it starts leaking because there's like frozen like ice at the bottom of the fridge at the very bottom and we didn't know that so it would keep leaking all the time so he came and he started like checking right he's he started checking the fridge he started checking the fridge and he started checking the fridge and i was like honestly so uncomfortable because all my like clothes was like there while i was doing laundry so he's looking at it and he's like well he's like i don't know what to tell you guys he tells me he was rude you guys like he was like oh he's like i don't know what to tell you guys but you guys are gonna have to buy a new fridge you need to tell your husband that he needs to buy a new fridge and i'm like squeezy <laughs> we need to buy a fridge this came in the house like you need to replace your fridge <laughs> so i was like no 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 i was like how are we gonna buy any fridge like the the house came with the fridge and then he's like no that was just common courtesy of us to give you guys to to keep the fridge here for you guys and i was like no like it's in our lease and he's like no no it's not i'll, I'll go he's like you know what let me go make sure that, that it's not in the lease and then i'll let you know but you should tell your husband that you guys need to buy a new fridge because this was just common courtesy wasn't part of your lease and trust me you guys it was on the lease we checked and it's on there but we figured out how to fix it we told him you know what we got somebody to repair it and we fixed it so um, he was like okay cool whatever whatever right so since then they have not caught us with our puppy <laughs> which i'm glad <laughs> but anyways yeah that was the story with this guy and this is why i got so irritated when she was messaging me that oh you guys don't even care about the house and this is this and that and whatever whatever and i just told her it makes me uncomfortable i feel like we're being monitored monitored all the time right so she left me on red, like she didn't talk to me at all. And then she said later on that, oh, she was going to call me later, blah, blah, blah. I never received a call, you guys. And I told her I didn't receive your call, but you can call anytime after 5 p.m. I'm working. I just told her like that. Like she dropped the whole subject that like, she didn't even tell me anything after that. Like she just dropped it. But this time she like told me, this was like January 6th, recent. She was like, good morning. I have someone that will be there today around 10 to look at the garage door and roof. And this is like 10 a.m. And she's texting me this at 8 a.m. that day. Like, I'm not home. We weren't home. But still, I'm uncomfortable with people being in the property when we're not there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was like, um, no. Like, what? So, I just told her. I was like, okay. Like, I just put okay. And then she just says, like, right after. She's like, hi, I know this is quick notice but we were trying for a while to get someone to do the roof and finally we did and the guys are going to start tomorrow not sure what time yet if you have pictures on the wall you can take them down uh so they won't fall from the roof being installed i didn't even know how long that was going to take you guys but i was like yeah that's fine just next time please let us know ahead of time because like i mentioned before we're rarely home so it would be good to know so we can do that the 
day prior to any work being done to the house, you know, bring down all the 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 pictures from the walls i would like to know a day before so i can bring them down right and then um she's like understand i was i understand she's like he came and gave us an estimate today and we were not expecting for him to do it so soon blah blah blah, blah. sorry for any inconveniences so i was like yeah no problem she's like thanks and then she just told me that the guy was going to be there tomorrow blah 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 point is these people were working on the roof the whole weekend that weekend like i thought that it was just gonna be that day or whatever and i should have done like my research or something but he was like doing the roof for like the whole weekend. They, they, not he, because it was a lot of them. They're really nice. I think they were from like Guerrero. No, they weren't from Guerrero. Where were they from? I forgot where they were from, but they were very nice and they didn't speak Spanish. Like they spoke uh, dialecto or something like that. I don't know what it's called. But they were really nice and we went to go buy them some water. I told I told my dude, I was like, we should like at least get them some water. So he went to the gas station. He brought water bottles. He gave some to them. They didn't really take any, so we didn't take them out after that. But, <laughs> but yeah, they were, like, really nice until we noticed that they started, like, peeing in the corner. Like, they were peeing in a corner of the garage, and I was like... I didn't say anything because I know, like, my dad's a gardener, and I know, like, how hard it is to have, like, a job where you have to work, like, the whole day, and, like, there's no restroom. You know, and they, they, didn't, they didn't bother to knock or anything and come say, like, oh, can I use restroom or anything? And I know it's all it's weird and stuff, but I understand because my dad, like I said, like he works in gardening, so I know what it's like when my dad's like, oh, yummy mayo, you know, like I have to be so bad or like there's no restroom, you know. So he figures it out. So the same thing that they did, and I was like, I told my dude, I was like, you know what, honestly, like I'm not even gonna say anything or confront them or tell the lady or anything because my dad works in a job where it requires him to work all day to the point where there's no restroom break. And nobody, like, the clients are not going to go and be like, oh, you can use my restroom. You get me? Like, no. <laughs> so I didn't say anything, but still, like, it took three days, and there was, like, banging and footsteps all over the wall, and I was just like, Ugh. I had a headache that whole week. That's the a, that's a story. That's the story of my weird landlord and why we're moving and stuff. But I'm excited. I'm honestly very excited to be moving because I, I like adventures. I like new things. So I can't wait to see like the new house like in person we're gonna be looking at it and stuff But yeah, you guys if you guys like this video Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe leave a comment down below comment crazy landlord <laughs> Just for laughs <laughs> if you guys watched the whole video up until now But yeah, you guys thank you so much for watching subscribe hit the like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye